Hi everyone, Yana is here and you're watching the Inspired by Pinterest video series. For my today's video, I picked a floral pattern image that I found on Pinterest and I wanted to recreate it completely as a background for my card. So I not only picked uh, stamps that um, are similar to the flowers that I found on the pattern, but I also decided to stick with the same colors. So I had uh, here I have some uh, clear snap pigment inks, uh, some pink, uh, some yellows, pinks, uh, lilacs or violets, a coral uh, color, and then brown color uh, from clear snap. And I also have some clear stamps from Hero Arts. Uh, the particular the the kit that I have here is a teaching kit that I got from CHA, but these uh, stamps are also available in a regular sized uh, Hero Arts kit. So I'm using uh, actually five stamps from this kit today. I have two larger flowers and then I have uh, two flower fillers, I guess, and then I have a sentiment. So I'm, uh, I'm using my phone here. I'm sure you've noticed me uh, doing that, picking it up <laughs> and looking at it. So I'm using a phone as a cheat sheet. Uh, I have that image that uh, was that inspired me on my phone and I'm checking to make sure that I'm recreating this pattern exactly as it is on the image. So I'm looking at the placement of the flowers and I'm trying to position them exactly as they are on the pattern. Of course, I'm not doing a very, a very precise job because the size of my paper is a little bit different than the size of the image uh, that I found on Pinterest. but. I'm pretty much sticking to the plan that, sticking to the image that I found. And uh, as you can see here, I've started with a large flower, uh, with a larger flower, and I uh, started with a l lightest color, with yellow, and I stamped it in a sort of a triangular fashion. So I stamped one flower at the top uh, center, I guess, and then another one at the bottom left, and then a third one at the very uh, only part. I only made a partial imprint at the bottom there, and I'm doing so with with all the flowers that I have, and I'm alternating the colors, and I'm simply filling out the background uh, that uh, the background of the paper that I have, and I'm all always checking the image that I found on Pinterest to make sure I'm following the pattern precisely. Now, uh, after I've stamped those large and smaller flowers, I'm using these sort of like a flower fillers stamp, flower filler stamps, I guess you can call them, uh, to fill out the petals of the larger and smaller flowers. And I'm using the exact same colors to do so. And uh, you just saw me cleaning out the stamps in between using uh, a, a, a stamp pad. Uh, this is a cleaning pad, a special cleaning pad from uh, a Clear Snap. And I really like it for this particular, uh, I guess, technique, because I can easily clean my stamps without having to take them off uh, the clear block or without getting my fingers dirty. So it's a neat and um, handy tool there. So uh, as you can see here, I'm simply adding different colors and um, adding different fillers onto my paper. And uh, I'm not doing, uh, I'm not adding the fillers to every single flower. I'm just alternating them here and there. And I'm also adding them to the background, not just to the flower uh, petals, but to the background also. Okay, and now I, I moved on to a different filler, a fl flower filler, to a different stamp. And I'm adding these extra circles to some of the petals. And I'm not only adding those to the larger flowers, but also to the smaller flowers as well. And once again, to the background, uh, also to the background of my paper. And uh, I'm using, once again, this cleaning pad from uh, Clear Snap to clean my stamps. I've had it for quite some time, but I, I wasn't using it uh, very often as, you know, I just have it in my drawer and I'm not, I'm not always reaching for it, but for this particular technique and for this video I decided it would be a, a nice and a fast way to clean my stamps in between uh, different colors of ink. And uh, as I was stamping I decided that um, I thought that m my background was sort of lacking some more uh, an additional color, so that's why I picked that other uh, color of, I guess, purple or violet here, and that's why I added uh, just a little bit of that to my background. Now I'm using a daffodil pigment ink from Clear Snap, and I'm using the other side of the stamp, of this circular stamp from Hero Arts, and I'm using it to add some color, to fill the color of some of the yellow, uh, some of the petals of the yellow flower. 
So I simply flipped the stamp upside down, attached it to my clear block, and now I'm inking the other side of the stamp, the, the side that is used to um, cling to the clear block. It's a nice trick that I saw online and I thought I'd finally give it a try and I really enjoy doing that. I mean, it's a it gives you gives your stamps a lot more um a lot more value, I guess. And here I used my uh my paper trimmer to trim my pattern into two pieces. So I have a, a really small a narrow bottom piece and then I have a larger top piece. And I have a card base here. It's a white, uh, just regular white cardstock, premium white cardstock from Dovecraft. And I uh, marked the areas where these uh, stamped patterns are going to be. And the area in between is going to be uh, is going is where I'm going to place my sentiment. Now, because I wasn't sure which color of uh, ink to use for the sentiment, I'm sort of cheating here and I'm using a little piece of paper to determine if it's going to work. So I trimmed a little piece of paper and I'm going to stamp the sentiment on the piece of paper then layer it together with the stamp with the stamped pattern with a stamped background on my card base and see if the elements go well together this way I don't have to ruin my mm, my card base and I don't have to guess I can always try and if this color doesn't work I can always flip the paper upside down to the other side and try another a different color but it did work and I was pretty happy with this color combination I really like that extra uh, bold color to the sentiment and I thought it would work nicely so that's the color that I used for uh, for the sentiment and uh, this hello there sentiment is also from Hero Arts now to stem the sentiment straight I drew a little line and then I followed that line and I stamped the sentiment. Now, because this is a pigment ink and uh, because it needs a little bit more time to dry, I recommend either setting your uh, stamp sentiment aside for some time or uh, heat setting it with a heat tool and only then erasing that little uh, pencil line that you drew. Now, to finish the card, I uh, adhered the uh, stamped uh, pattern using some foam adhesive and then I added just a little bit of jams to my stamped sentiment. Now this finishes up the card for today and I hope you enjoyed <laughs> and I hope you will give this technique a try. I mean I really did not expect these particular stamps to create such a wow pattern. I, I wasn't sure if uh, I'm going to end up with a pretty card or not but I really like the way it turned out so I en encourage you to try this technique as well and if you do leave me a, a link to your project uh, here on YouTube or in my blog I'd love to check it out uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time